Okay, I'm here in the, my studio. Uh, I'm just taking a little break from painting for the dark and the wounded. Um, if you're wondering why I look so tired right now, I'm about to tell you. I just want to give you a quick update as to what's been happening with the Dark and Wounded uh, exhibition series and documentary film. Uh, since our last exhibition at Riverview Asylum just outside Vancouver um, in the fall of 2013, uh, I've been progressing with uh, more work in the series, so doing more paintings. Um, in order to get to those places uh, that enable me to paint this dark. Um, it's very emotionally draining and they take a long time to create. Um, some of these pieces are quite large I'm working on and they're literally months of work to finish just one painting. So between that and drawing and uh, organizing our uh, upcoming exhibit in uh, mid-March, our media world tour launch uh, that will be launching March 14th, um, along with that, we are actually launching our website as well, which is thedarkandwounded.com, which will have our, everything available on it. We're also doing a scouting tour to some larger venues that we're planning on exhibiting in on the east coast of North America, uh, Philadelphia, New York, uh, Toronto, Montreal. Um, and we're not only just going to those places to check out these um, larger venues, but we're going to a lot of smaller, dark and wounded places as well to film, get inspiration, and do some painting and drawing in those as well. Uh, we're also launching um, our Indiegogo campaign. Um, that will be done mid-March as well. So we have a very exciting year coming up with a lot of great things happening. And... Um, and just to sort of give everyone an update as to, you know, uh, some of the posts have sort of dropped off a little bit uh, because I've been so busy creating and working towards this coming year. So it should be very exciting. I'm looking forward to it and uh, stay tuned.